And that's hard. People get confused by that. A lot of a lot of men don't know what to do when they run into a woman that has her own stuff. Right. A lot of men are even threatened by this. Right. But but actually what it does is it just opens up a whole new uh, parallel universe of conversation that has to be had in order to understand, like, OK, why do we need each other again? Because because we certainly don't need each other for the basic stuff anymore. Like my wife and I, my wife does not need me in order for her to eat. I do not need her in order for me to eat. Uh, so the question is, uh, what do we need each other for? And and it, it opens up an opportunity for a more beautiful, more fulfilling conversation, if you see it that way. Or you could just say, you know, these women, these independent women, they just getting on my nerves because they be getting jobs and money and stuff. You should be better adjust because black women know how to make money. Black women also know how to get the best jobs and they they get a lot of education and it does create a different conversation. And I, I think that that's a good conversation if everyone's open to it, right? If you approach it humbly and in, in, in a supportive way. All right. So anyway, with that being said, um, uh, so what I want you to do for today is I want you to really, really, really think about your comfort zone. I want you to think about your dream and I want you to sort of process within your head what barrier outside is blocking you from getting outside of that comfort zone. And then I want you to make a plan, pick one goal. Don't pick a bunch of them. Just pick one thing, one important thing, pick the, the most important thing that you're going to work on now. And just say, this is the one thing where I'm going to conquer that comfort zone. So some ways to conquer it might be uh, getting into a group that's going to hold you accountable. Uh, it, it may be a matter of doing things like the two minute rule so you can form new habits and get used to pouring into that a little bit every day. Um, one of the things that uh, I'm going to do, uh, because I, I was really confronting my comfort zone when I went to that boot camp with my wife and I was like, gosh, you know, I really don't want to do this. And, and, and I, I really, I, I like my old way of working out, but I was like, gosh, I kind of enjoy the idea that maybe I'm going to lose a little more weight and I'm going to really be in much better shape because I'm breathing heavy and, and I'm, and I'm, I'm a little more tired and, and I kind of want to, I kind of want to go, I kind of want to be that guy. I, I think I want to be the guy who comes to the boot camp and is comfortable in the boot camp. So let me see if I can become that guy. Right. And so so part of the reason that, that I want to be in the group is because I want that accountability. I want the people around me that are making me do certain things as opposed to me leaning just solely on voice, because sometimes what you who you are and you doing it by yourself just isn't enough. So get you some help, get you some people around you that are going to encourage you to do better. And uh, and then what you'll find is that your game will elevate. And because remember, life is short. We're all going to be dead soon. We're not going to none of us is going to make it out of here alive. None of us. So uh, so every day is precious. Every day is valuable. Approach every day with that understanding so you can become the person you want to be before it's too late. OK. All right. Now, uh, now I see some questions. in. The, OK, uh, I see some comments in the Q&A section. OK, so AC Salam says plumbing training, electrical training, carpentry. I love that. I love the, the skill. The skill trades. Very important. What's the name again? Uh, yes. 30 days to wealth and power. So if you go to drboycebooks.com, you can find it there. It's at drboycebooks.com. Uh, let's see here. This is not a question. I see a lot of B1 in the chat are interested in travel. 